Welcome to Southern Manufacturing 2025. We're here, we're back on the Matsura stand here with Damien. Quite a well-known face on MTD now, aren't you, Damien? Uh, I've been on a few times now. A few times. It's just because he has so much applications knowledge here at Matsura. Um, we're in front of the MX520. It's quite a well-known machine now. We're doing a brand new demo on it. What's the demo? So the demo is an engine block. We use an engine block as an example because often many customers have similar products. We can show our parts on this machine, whether it's face milling, interpolating, five axis machining, drilling, tapping, um, the speeds and feeds that we can use on this sort of block. And here we're demonstrating very fast speeds and feeds on an unbolted machine, which helps to show the rigidity, especially on the MX520, of how well it's made and how fast we can actually go on yeah, this one. Absolutely, it's rapid, rapid in quite fast. And it's on a carpet. Uh, it's on carpet, not bolted down, so um, yeah, we're cutting sort of 10, 12,000 RPM at 5, 6 metres a minute, which is good going, I'd say. Yeah, pretty good going. You've also got quite an interesting probing application, probing demo you're showing off as well. Yeah, so on this example on the demo that we've got here, we have an Operation 1 and an Operation 2, but we're only using one vice. Now, what I've done is incorporated Renishaw spindle probing to go and detect if your billet is bigger, so it's not one, or if the bill is smaller, it's an operation two, automatically jump into the program, find the selected program, and it's all automated. So if I try to make a mistake and effectively load the wrong billet, the program will go and find the correct program suited to that job. It's interesting. I mean, that's obviously quite a niche application. It's on this per, per operation and per job. But it just shows actually the application, the experience, the knowledge that you're trying to apply, I guess, every day here because you don't just work here at shows trying to do demos. No. Nope. You're out in customers every day with real Matsura machines making real products, aren't you? Yeah. So some, some of the products that we have and some of the customers we see, they, their needs will vary depending on their parts. So like for the example I did Operation 1 and Operation 2 mixed together as one program, that only takes a few minutes to change the way that people do their programs to suit their needs. And then that saves them effectively from having a crash mm. by spending a little bit extra time. Yeah, now, exactly. some, some of the customers that I go and see, Factory 33 I was at only a couple of weeks ago, it was their first Matsura machine. How I had to detail my training to him and the, his requirements he wanted from me would be completely different to someone who's already got one. Yeah, and that's the best thing about having um, a really a serious machine dealer in the UK to support you with real applications engineers going in is because you might They've got your time, basically, and you can show them exactly what they need to do to get up and running and, and to eventually to, to have business value from that machine from day one. Yeah, so one of our aims, we've got to um, do a deal on what the sales have sold, and we have to come in on that deal and produce exactly what the customer needs to those requirements, um, whether that would be their first part off on the machine or whether that be training existing customers with new staff. And starting with a new machine from Masura, We'll generally start with seeing a brand new machine on an open house in person at a show like this. Um, and you've got a brand new open house coming up. Let's talk to Mark about the brand new open house and a brand new machine release as well. So Mark, we're here to talk about the open house you've got coming up in November, which is really exciting. Um, first of all, how's the year been so far? 2025, end of January here at Southern Manufacturing. What's it been like? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Rome, by the way. Nice to see you here at Southern. Um, yeah, January, I mean, it's fantastic. We came off the end of a very, very good year last year. All targets succeeded. Um, and then generally, we, you know, we expect January to be quite quiet. But the level of machines that we sold in, in, in January, nobody expected. Okay, really? Nice to have an over-expectations January, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Could be quite a sad part of the yes. year. Um, so, good year, good start to the year at least. Yep. You've got an open house coming up at the end of the year. What's going to be happening? Yeah, when is it? it's. I mean, obviously, November is is, is a fair way away. Um, but uh, we have quite a key new product that we're we're launching, which is a development from the machine that we have behind us. So the MX520, towards the middle of the year, we're going to be holding stock of the machine that has full turning capabilities. Um, and now up to seven pallets. Yeah, which is amazing. I mean, you, I guess you've never seen turning on a Matsura before, have we? Well, we have, yes, with the Cubilex, the, the slightly higher specification machine with up to 32 pallets. Um, but with the MX520, we are targeting a slightly different audience. Um, the machine has 500 newton meters of torque available on the table, 800 RPM. So it's designed for machining much harder materials. Yeah, lower cutting diameters. speeds, but with massive exactly, torque behind exactly. it. Exactly. 
Fantastic. Okay, and for people who are listening to this and thinking that's quite interesting, but I've been using my sewers to do five axe machine milling all my life. Why would I need turning? Well, there's a lot of mill turn centers out there, okay, and Matt Sewers Marketplace doesn't really um, sort of branch into the into that territory. But with the MX520T, as soon as you start looking at mill turn centers, you've got a man loading a machine. Obviously, naturally with the Matsura and every other Matsura is that we're gonna have automation as standard. So you are gonna have an automated turning center. 